lifestyles of the rich and famous, but make it dirt cheap. Screw the dress, the crowd, and cutting the cake, these stars made it official on the DL at the courthouse, and some are still happily hitched. On June 9, 2023, rumors swirled that actors Naomi Watts and Billy Crudup may have tied the knot after they were photographed wearing what looked like wedding bands. According to Page Six, paparazzi pics showed Watts wearing a white gown and holding flowers, while Crudup wore a blue suit. The following day, Watts confirmed the buzz by sharing a photo taken on the steps of the courthouse in New York and writing, Hitched. The couple were romantically linked in July 2017 after working together on the Netflix series Gypsy. In March 2023, Watts, who had ended her relationship with Liev Schreiber in 2016, alluded to her romance with Kruda, telling Elle, I didn't expect to meet someone after I separated. He's not squeamish about me aging, and I met him in the height of my menopause. To the love of my life. Ditto. Kourtney Kardashian and Travis Barker's love affair has been well documented on social media and on the Hulu reality show The Kardashians. In May 2022, the couple tied the knot in an extravagant Italian wedding, which was attended by the Kardashian-Jenner clan, along with a slew of famous faces. But Courtney actually wed the Blink-182 drummer twice before they made the trip to Italy. Are you married and we missed it? Well, guess what? After attending the Grammy Awards together, Courtney and Travis headed to Vegas, where they got married at the One Love Wedding Chapel in early April 2022. It wasn't a legal union, though, since the couple didn't get a marriage license beforehand. The following month, Court and Travis made their marriage official at a courthouse in Santa Barbara. Only Travis's dad, Randy Barker, and Courtney's grandmother, Mary Jo Campbell, attended, in lieu of traveling to Italy. For the intimate affair, Courtney wore a white mini dress, while Travis wore an all-black tux. In keeping with their rock and roll style, Travis and Courtney drove away from the ceremony in a vintage car with a Just Married sign tied to the back. You just better be really in love with the person you marry. In September 2022, it was reported that Emily Ratajkowski had filed for divorce from husband Sebastian Bear McClard, with sources telling Page Six that he had allegedly cheated on his model wife. But prior to their split, the couple's whirlwind romance first hit the headlines in February 2018, when Emily announced their surprise wedding. She posted a couple selfie in an Instagram story, writing, I got married today. The wedding took place at City Hall in the Big Apple and was reportedly attended by just two witnesses, including comedian The Fat Jewish. On the Vanity Fair podcast In the Limelight that April, the model admitted, I can't even imagine what having a 300-person wedding is like, because it still felt kind of hectic to plan ours. Rather than wearing white, Emily sported a $200 Zara pantsuit in mustard yellow. As for why she didn't select a traditional wedding gown, she explained, I never loved the idea of white for a wedding because I'm not a pure woman. I also just love the idea of a suit, especially at City Hall, because it's like you're taking care of business. Dax Shepard and Kristen Bell are one of Hollywood's most enduring couples, having revealed their engagement in early 2010. But the actors eschewed a big expensive wedding in favor of a short ceremony at their local courthouse. Bell reflected on their 2013 wedding, telling CBS, We got married in a tiny room in the Beverly Hills courthouse, and it was still one of the best days of my life. We had never really talked about having a wedding. And as she later noted in a 2022 interview with People, we didn't want to look at or talk to anyone else other than each other. As well as keeping the entire celebration private, they also kept the budget very low. As Shepard told Jimmy Kimmel in 2013, we went to the Beverly Hills courthouse and, all in, with fuel to get there, $142 out the door. The star also joked that their friends gifted them a cake after the ceremony, inscribed with the words, World's Worst Wedding. In July 2021, Christina went Instagram official with her new beau, Josh Hall, following her divorces from Tarek El Moussa and Aunt Anstead. Less than a year later, in April 2022, TMZ reported that she had officially changed her name to Christina Hall, suggesting that she'd already tied the knot. That December, Christina opened up about the news on her HGTV series, Christina on the Coast. We just did it low key, and we're going to do a ceremony nice. later. She noted that they opted for a private wedding rather than a big celebrity-filled affair. At this point in my life, I really value privacy when I can get it. So Josh and I decided to do a courthouse ceremony, just the two of us, something private. A romantic wedding in Maui followed the couple's courthouse date with a reception for friends and family. 
U star and Gossip Girl alum Penn Badgley is a household name, but that doesn't mean that his entire life is up for public consumption. In February 2017, a friend's Instagram photo revealed that Badgley had tied the knot with Domino Kirk in a small Brooklyn courthouse ceremony. In 2018, Badgley told People magazine, Domino and I very much had a romantic beginning, and I think that you discover that what sustains a marriage for decades, there are less and less people who can tell us this, but I think it has something to do with divine love. The couple followed up their courthouse nuptials with a much larger celebration in June 2017. I wouldn't say it was two weddings, although that is what it looks like. Badgley and Domino then welcomed their son James in August 2020, along with raising Domino's older son from a previous relationship. In November 2007, Grey's Anatomy icon Ellen Pompeo wed music producer Chris Ivory at City Hall in Lower Manhattan. At the time, Ellen's dad Joseph Pompeo told People, I'm very happy for her. She just didn't want a big thing. We had the whole weekend and no one knew. A decade later, Ellen explained that Mayor Michael Bloomberg officiated the couple's wedding, revealing on Live with Kelly and Ryan that, at the time, she was desperate to get away from the media. Friday morning, woke up went to City Hall, had the wedding really quick. The couple are now busy raising their three children together. As one of the world's most famous actors, Matt Damon is recognizable wherever he goes. But the star managed to pull off a secret wedding in December 2005. According to the New York Times, Damon and his bride, Luciana Barroso, wed in an early morning ceremony at Manhattan's City Hall. Luciana's then seven-year-old daughter, Alexia, attended, as did then-mayor Michael Bloomberg. Damon first met Barroso while he was filming Stuck on You in Miami in 2003. At the time, Luciana was bartending at a Miami nightclub. Along with Alexia, the couple has since welcomed three daughters together, Isabella, Gia, and Stella. I think marriage is insane. You know, like, I, I, like it's a crazy idea, but I love being married to my wife. Following their secret nuptials, the couple later chose to renew their wedding vows in April 2013 on St. Lucia. The glamorous affair was reportedly attended by several celebrities, including Ben Affleck and his then-wife Jennifer Garner, along with actors Michael Douglas and Catherine Zeta-Jones. Actor Salma Hayek chose Valentine's Day in 2009 to tie the knot with French billionaire Francois-Henri Pinault at a city hall in Paris. But in February 2023, Hayek revealed to Glamour that instead of planning for the private event together, I didn't even know I was getting married that day. It was like an intervention. According to Hayek, she had some fears when it came to getting married, so her family members decided to intervene and convince her that she should marry her man. She added, The reason why it was a courthouse wedding was because they dragged me there. In spite of feeling nervous about tying the knot, Hayek soon realized that she was happy to have married her longtime love. She admitted, Afterward I said, Oh, it's okay. I don't feel any different. And then a little bit later I said, Okay, this is kind of exciting. And he's like, Can we have a party now? I kind of like it that I'm married now. <laughs> I want a party! While Hayek took a little convincing to make it down the aisle, it's clear that she's happily linked with her now husband, with whom she shares four children. As she explains to Glamour, I married a man who is very supportive, who saw things in me that I never even saw in myself. Pop superstar Justin Bieber wed model Hailey Bieber in an exceedingly expensive wedding in South Carolina in September 2019. Although the nuptials were only attended by a modest 154 guests, a number of celebrities were reportedly invited, including Kendall and Kylie Jenner, Jaden Smith, Camila Marone, and Usher. However, the couple actually tied the knot long before they ever held their picture-perfect wedding. We wanted to live together, we wanted to move in together, and we didn't believe in doing that until we were married, so we got legally married. In September 2018, people confirmed that the Beavers had married at a courthouse in New York City, but that they planned to hold a religious ceremony after the fact. Despite having such a low-key wedding, Haley most certainly felt some pressure after tying the knot with Justin. Telling Elle in March 2021, In the beginning of our marriage, I just wanted to hide. I was like, I don't want people so in my business. Discussing their whirlwind romance and quick decision to get married, Haley told the outlet, I was married when I was 21, two months before I turned 22, which is insanely young, and sounds almost ridiculous when you say it out loud. Although I do think for somebody like me and somebody like Justin, it's different. We've seen a lot for our age. We have both lived enough life to know that's what we wanted. 
When actor and entrepreneur Jessica Alba married movie producer Cash Warren, she kept the event incredibly private. The pair married in the ceremony room at the Beverly Hills Courthouse in May 2008. Laser focus, zeroed in on her. According to People, Alba wore a blue dress for the occasion, while Warren apparently kept it casual in a white shirt with brown pants. A source also told the outlet that the couple had no guests in attendance for their big day, instead placing the focus solely on their union. The following month, the pair welcomed their first child, daughter Honor. They have since expanded their family with daughter Haven and son Hayes. During a 2022 interview with Glamour UK, Alba opened up about her surprise wedding, explaining, We eloped and I think I was nine months pregnant. It wasn't planned. It was literally, honey, do you have anything to do this morning? And he was like, no. Considering that they were both free that day, Alba suggested that they should get married. She shared with the outlet, and then I said, can we get waffles afterwards because I have a doctor's appointment? Will you come to my doctor's appointment? And that's how it happened. In September 2013, musician John Legend and model Chrissy Teigen married in a gorgeous ceremony held on Lake Como in Italy. However, the couple had already made their marriage official prior to holding their dream Italian wedding. Speaking to E! News, Tigan revealed, We actually got married after going to a couple Fashion Week shows at Vera Wang, ironically, who actually did my dress, but we got married at the courthouse right after. I felt like it's time for us to get married. As for why they opted for a courthouse wedding prior to their stunning Lake Como nuptials, Tigan explained to the outlet, We are dumb and didn't realize that our Italian wedding would not be recognized unless we had a real ceremony in New York City. So Arena Shake was our witness, the most beautiful woman on earth. While Tigan and Legend went on to have a huge destination wedding, surrounded by their nearest and dearest, their small courthouse ceremony truly made their marriage official. Since then, these two have welcomed four children together, daughters Luna and Esty, and sons Miles and Ren.